Welcome. Baldur's Gate 2. Ha! Shadows of Om is the actual uh, first game. Um, I'm not going to be playing these, so don't get your hopes up. Apparently, this just starts the game. Didn't really realize that. Sounds good to me, though. I didn't make a character, though. You spent your youth in the library fortress of Candlekeep, under the kind tutelage of your foster father, Gorion. Uh -huh. Imoen shared this home. A kindred spirit, her background was as mysterious as your own. Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions when his killer Saravok was revealed to be your brother. You and Saravok were a product of the Time of Troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death and walked the land before the cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Baal, lord of murder, and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new lord of murder. You killed your brother, sending his taint back to Baal. You were the hero of Baldur's Gate, but some suspected you shared the same lineage as Saravok. You departed soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. Yeah. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. Oh. 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 I don't remember any of that, um, at all. <laughs> uh, okay, so welcome everybody to Shadows of Arm. Shadows of Arm is the first chapter of Baldur's Gate 2, before there were any expansions, and Throne of Ball is the second one, and I think it might actually be like the end end. I don't know what that other thing in there was, but it was a thing that apparently happened. Um, I'm going to be playing Shadows of Om in this Let's Play. I'm not actually going to be playing Throne of Ball in this one. I may do Throne of Ball, but it won't be this series. This series of Shadows of Om. I know it's been a very long time since I posted anything, and since I've done anything, this seemed like a good game to do. I really wanted to play this game. I've played it several times, but never actually beaten it. So... This time I, I hope to, uh... To fix that, um, we're not gonna pre-generate character. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. No, we're gonna create our character. We're going to be a dude, because I originally played as a dude when I played this game. My dude was. These are all the new faces. That was the dude I used in the first game. Is there kind of an equivalent new face for him? This guy is pretty good. We'll use this guy. I don't know if I... Oh, I will, okay, yeah. And we're going to be a half-elf, I think works, maybe. Actually, I think I'll just... We're just going to do... I think I was a human when I played the first time. Um, 
I have to see if Half-Elf can do what I want it to do. Can I multi-class as a Fighter Cleric? Yes, I can. Fighter Cleric is what I'm going to make my main character be. I am going to be neutral good. Which characters believe in the balance of forces. Blah, 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 blah. Read that if you want. It says that a neutral good person basically does pretty much the right thing all, all the time. But... They, they, they want to make sure that there's a balance. They're not worried about, like, law necessarily, right? I don't know. Neutral, they're neutral. Good. They're just, just, they, just, just, just trust me. Just trust me. I know what I'm doing. And this is where we could be here for a little while. Total roll 81. That's not a bad total roll. But we could still be here for a while. There's an 84. That's probably not. I'm really just paying attention to that total roll number. Okay, so we're going to lower our charisma. Our wisdom needs to be high and our strength needs to be high here. Let's see, we're going to go for higher than 85. I don't remember if there's, I, I mean, I'm sure there is a way to just be like, I'm just going to make my stats be super cool because I can. Eighty-two, eighty-eight. Okay, so let's test the strength. That's the big one. Is test your strength. Eighteen, eighteen. Ugh. Going for another eighty-eight. Going on hunting. Never take the first one you find just because it happens to be a good, big number. We can find another one. We can. So yeah, how's everybody doing with their their stuff? I'm I'm. It's been almost a year since I've even done a let's play. Um, for everybody who's curious as to whether or not I'm gonna come back to any of those old forgotten let's plays that are there, um, the answer is mostly a resounding no. Um, there's a possibility that I might play Child of Light again. But I probably won't. It probably won't be the same LP. If it even is an LP, it's most likely gonna be. I maybe should have just kept that 88. Uh, it's most likely gonna be an entirely new LP if I do LP that game again. But don't get your hopes up. Um, I'm mostly gonna just dedicate this channel to when I play old older games that I never got a chance to play that are PC games or even SNES and stuff um if you want to see what I do in my other time you should check out my live stream it's local Klaus on Twitch it's the same as my YouTube just on Twitch instead of here um I I, I play I generally stream my PS4 most of the time when I play it Unless I'm playing something that doesn't let me stream it. I've only had one game do that so far, and I'm really surprised that it does. Um, nothing in Tales of Zestiria is streamable. The whole game is a giant block scene. Which I find kind of ridiculous. Oh, no! Ah, huh, huh, it hurts. It hurts when that happens. And you see the 88, and it just goes right by your face. And you're like, ah, the bane. That was an 86. I could have checked that. It's not that important that every that I get really good stats, but it is important that I get good enough stats. This game is not easy, and I keep okay. Let's go a little bit slower, shall we? Doop doop ba hoop ba hoo. 81. I don't know what an 81, I don't think an 81 would entail being super great. Let's check its strength though, just in case. Ah ha ha, okay. Okay, um, let's check this one's strength. God, the strength, strength roll was really low. 1888, okay, so what can I do with this then? Um, wisdom needs to be much higher. We can drop the intelligence down to like a 10. Um. We want the wisdom to be at least like a 16. At least. 
Khan would be nice to have be higher than that. That's an okay character. I'll store that. Go looking for that eight, that elusive 88. Because, I mean, that's five more points, right? I could do a lot with five points. Eighty-seven. Come on, have a good strength. Just all you need is a good strength. Eighteen twenty-seven. That's not a good strength. <laughs> I hate to tell you this game, but that strength roll, not good. That's still honestly a pretty dang good character. Eighteen twenty-seven, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's. That's pretty freaking good. Pretty freaking good. I'm not gonna wait too much longer. I'll take that if I can't find something better. I shouldn't have skipped that 86. There's an 84. We'd have to give up a good amount of dexterity. The strength roll is going to have to be phenomenal for me to do it. It's not. Yes, 1871 is not what I called phenomenal. If I was actually rolling a character for a real D&D &D campaign and I rolled an 1871, I would be very happy with myself. Because that never, ever happens when I roll characters. Ever. The only reason I can get a good character in Baldur's Gate is because I can be determined. Determined. Oh my god. Okay. This is our character. This, this is our character right here. Um, I think we're gonna not have much dex. I'll deal with just having armor. Uh, I'm gonna make up for it with a bit more con and a bit more wisdom. We really don't need intelligence and charisma. Um, they might affect things like just as far as like the game is concerned, but honestly, these are the prime stats for our character. Is the dex? I mean, because my dexterity is so so low, maybe I should do that. Even it out. More hit point. A little bit. A little bit more armor class for a little bit less hit points. I could always go with a little less wisdom for a little more armor class. Of course, that means less priest spells. I'm gonna go with a little less hit points for a little more wisdom. I'm supposed to be a fighter cleric, so... There we go. That's what we're gonna stick with. And someone I know is playing Undertale. That is very good. That's very, very good. That's our character. We got it. It took a little while. Um, I probably should have put a disclaimer that this is going to be the skill. I'm sure it's in the description. This is the I'm building my characters part of this game. It's it's going to be really slow. I'm, I apologize. I mean, we're past the, past the hard part now, but let's see. We're going to go with the uh, single... No, not single weapon. Probably sword and shield. Anyone can pick up a shield. Base protection, but it's spinous. Venture can maximize the benefit of minus two against missile weapons, minus four against missile weapons. Yeah, uh, sword and shield style is good. What we're gonna go with though is the flail and I don't think I want to go with the mace. How can you get all the way up to high master and all those? Specialized you can do. It's plus one, plus two. Master is plus three, plus three. I know that. But then I don't know about... I never heard about high master or grandmaster before. Interesting. So flail is... This one also covers Morningstar, which is like going to be the other weapon that we're going to use a lot. So from here, I will actually want more sword and shield. Because I'm gonna use a shield and a morning star or a fl or a flail, basically. Um, our secondary weapon will be a warhammer. And that's basically what I'm gonna go with. Because um, I don't think that 
do not wish to use a shield, but want some bonus when using a one hand melee. Yeah, so I'm using a shield because for one, I don't have very high dex, so I need the armor. Um, I'm actually just generally gonna leave that. It kind of matches your portrait, and it's fine. I'm not worried about it. So what's our do? <laughs> not that one. Let's do this quick and painful. Nope. To battle with no regrets. Nope. To battle and victory. Nope. To battle and victory. Possibly five. To battle and victory. Which is what the to game battle. wants me to pick. I will strive to lead responsibly. I must rest for our cause to succeed. I should make better use of time. We could. No one is more worthy. Let's no. do this quick and painful. I'll get the job done whether leader or not. To battle. With no regrets, I shall endeavor to be an inspiring example. I fear the pace we have set is too much for me. Well, there must be more adventurous things we could be doing. No, no, we'll go to with To battle five. and victory! All right, and... Close it is. Okay. And then it gives me just like this giant spell list. This is, this is all the spells you have because this is your priest. You just get all the spells. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh, I'm dead already. Okay. <laughs> that's that's acceptable, right? This is what we wanted. Just, just immediately dead. Oh, ah, the child of Ball has awoken. Oh. It is time for more experiments. Doesn't have to be ow. The pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. Oh good. Oh, good. Interesting. You have much untapped power. Fantastic. Oh, you're great. Do you even realize your potential? Mm, nope. More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. Yeah, kind of. Um, wait, what's going on? All I know is we were near Baldur's Gate and got jumped. I've woken in a strange man's dungeon. Everyone has released me from my cell. We must find a way to escape this place, although I suspect exits m might be barred by magic. We might be able to find a way to leave if we explore the area, although we'll need to be careful. Who knows what traps this mage has laid, or what guards he employs. I should keep an eye out for weapons and armor to equip myself with, too. Likely some of my items are hidden somewhere in this complex, if he hasn't destroyed or sold them already. I don't think I want to remember it all. He's been doing things to us. Klaus, we have to get out of here. Um... Things? Don't make me think of it. He did the same to you, I think. I heard you screaming like it anyway. If we're in, okay, no, she got free because there's crazy shit going on. We'll get out of here and figure out what's going on. Good, because I don't know if it, if I could get loose again if I had to. Not with the pain in my head. It isn't like normal pain, Klaus. It's on the inside, like my bones. I made a little dagger and it won't go away. That sounds awful. Don't look at me like that. It just hurts, all right? It must have been the noise. There was a fight. Assassins came after a captor, I think. There were people dead all over. And the fight was still going on. I could hear it. You going to get moving or do I leave without you? Don't leave without me. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Minsk and Jahira are northeast of us and trap cells like yours. We should free them and find some gear. We should look in the room to the west first. West and a bit north. I think I saw some weapons in there. It's a room off the corner of this one. 
I don't think it's our gear, but they probably they probably sold our best stuff. But anything is better than nothing. Yeah, they. Yes. Spoiler alert: Even if you import a character, they sold all your good, all your stuff. Like you have no good stuff. Um. Also, a lot. That's quick save. Okay. A lot of people are probably gonna be like, "You didn't. Why are you not? Why are you not playing a game with the, a character from the first one? Why aren't you playing the first one first? Bleh. Play the first one first. No. All right, enough said. Let's move on. Um, I've played the first one. I like the first task? one. The first one's a great game. I have played it. I have beaten it. I have not played. Well, I have played this game, but I have not beaten this game. I am playing two. So that's what there is to that. Get over it. <laughs> um, so when we come back, I apparently have no fourth level spells. What level am I actually? Since I'm multi class, six six. Okay, she's eight seven. Does she have more experience than me? Why is her thief... Oh, right, because she doesn't go up as a thief anymore. So we have 95k experience points. Yeah. I have less than that. I only have 89. She has 95. She has more experience than me. Bitch. Okay. Um, so when we come back, we will actually start playing the game. I know. Surprising. I don't know what this is. Is this like a quick bar? Can I like put cool stuff there? It's all new. I've not played the enhanced edition. It's one of the other cool things about getting to play this game is it's the enhanced edition this time. So that's, that's going to be neat. Um, I'll probably leave picking my spells until the actual, until I'm actually playing the game. I only have three third level spells. That sucks. That might be because of my... My wisdom. Yeah, two two one. I think it at my at my level it would be three two two if I had an eighteen. But that's okay. That's okay. Who needs next? I my clericing ability isn't my main. On my thing honor. My character anyway. Yes. So. When we come back, like I said, we'll actually play the game. It'll be fun. See you then.